Praise God. We've been doctor counseling what is the moment for me for the moment. And you know, I've just been thinking that some of those old songs that we used to sing in church, you know, they had meaning. And they did speak to people's hearts. And I'm not a singer, as you all can tell, but I was challenged in a praise platform service to sing. And so I'm going to sing. And bear with me. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true. With thanksgiving, I'll be your living sanctuary for you. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true, with thanksgiving, I'll be your living sanctuary for you. Bless you. Praise God. Reverend Dr. Webb is here for Moments of Miracles Mom. And on today, you know, I just want to thank God and give him all honor and praise and worship for being God. God bless each and every one of us on this day protect us and keep us from the enemy. The seen and unseen. The spiritual being that are in flesh and the spiritual being that are in the air. We thank you, Father, as we bind them up we cut the cord, sending them to the abyss, and we release Jesus' strength, Jesus' power, Jesus' glory in our lives. In Jesus' name we thank you, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Bless you. Let's go to Exodus 2.23. That's Exodus 2.23, which says, And the children of Israel sighed by reason of the bondage, and they cried, and their cry came up unto God. Exodus 2.23. Over 3,000 years ago, Hebrew slaves were freed from bondage to the Pharaoh of Egypt. In the scriptural account of that release from Egyptian slavery, the firstborn Hebrew was first saved from the deadly plague on Egypt. But that final plague also made possible the release of the whole nation of Israel from slavery. Today, most think of slavery as a matter of history, but evidence reveals that slavery is just as real brutal and inhuman now as in the past. Modern slavery controlled the lives of millions of people across the globe. This human trafficking is defined as working without pay under threat of violence and being unable to walk away. The United States Department in 2013 trafficking in person report revealed worldwide estimates up to 27 million victims. Shockingly, there are more people in slavery today than at any other time in human history. 
although slavery has existed for thousands of years, changes in the world economics over the past 50 years have enabled a resurgence of slavery. Government corruption around the world allows slavery to go unpunished, even though it is illegal everywhere. What has that facilitated the new slavery? Today's slaves are cheap. As a result, they are also disposable. Our theme on today is, when will God free all slaves? When will God free all slaves? Amen. Slavery in America and the world. Of course, African Americans had been enslaved in what became the United States since early in the 17th century, when the U.S. Constitution was adopted. Importation of slaves was supposed to end by 1808. However, slavery became an economic necessity and thus a thriving institution, especially in the southern United States for the cotton industry. Not all African American slaves worked on large cotton plantations, but many other types of agricultural, including tobacco, hemp, corn, and livestock. Thankfully, the Emancipation Proclamation and the 13th Amendment freed the slaves. Yet after the turbulent of years of the Civil War, Emancipation and Reconstruction in 1861 through 77, second class status was perpetuated for four score more years until the Civil Rights Movement began to achieve the progress of the 1950s and 60s, almost a century later. Since slavery now free directly into the global economic of the 21st century, it makes sense that we should be concerned by the way in which slavery actually flows into our home through the products we buy and the investment we make. Slave harvest cocoa in the Ivory Coast, mine gold in Guyana for IT products, wave carpets or weave carpets in India and the Middle East. The list goes on. Slavery exists illegally in nearly every country of the world, and the United States and Europe are not exceptions. Research that Freed the Slave Inc., which is Free the Slave dot net conducted with the University of California Berkeley found documented cases of slavery and human trafficking in more than 90 cities across the United States. Men out of work commit to labor opportunities which become traps for slavery. Women trying to escape domestic abuse in their homes find themselves slaves in human trafficking. Youth of both genders are also being continuously trafficked for immortal purposes in business that reaps billions of dollars in profit. Hotline Polaris Project, a human trafficking resort center, observed that because of fear, the victims are usually afraid to report these crimes. And you can find that in the new transcript in January 29, 2014 edition. Slavery in the chocolate industry. Chocolate is a product of the cocoa bean, grown primarily in the tropical climate of West Africa and Latin America, Ghana, and the Ivory Coast supplies 75% of the world's cocoa market, 
for some of the largest chocolate companies in the world. Children of poor families may first be sold by a desperate family who might not be aware how dangerous the commitment is. Traffickers also abduct children between the age of 12 and 16 from small villages. Slave children as young as seven has been filmed working on farms. Some victims end up working to adulthood on the cocoa farm, never having an education. Required to climb cocoa trees and cut bean pods, the children use heavy, dangerous machetes. Holding a single large pod in one hand, the child strikes the pod with the machete and potentially risks serving, cutting fingers, hands, and arms. Other hazardous expose them to pesticides without any protective equipment. They also face physical violence for merely working slowly or making attempts to escape. Additionally, Yousef reports an estimate or estimated 246 million children, those not actually slaves, are engaged in many forms of child labor, including mining, working with pesticides and agriculture, or on fishing boats with high risk of drowning. Rotten slavery benefits total 32 billion generated annually in 161 countries by the human trafficking industry, with 15.5 billion in industrialized nations. Noble efforts to eradicate modern slavery. While there are many noble and dedicated people, as well as the United Nations, trying to eradicate global slavery, their efforts are not very successful. Creating public awareness and focusing money for recovering slaves seem to be the only current workable answer. What about the people who don't have the money to get their children back? Incredibly commendable, however, is the nine-year-old girl who, having seen a picture of slave children in Nepal carrying heavy rocks on their back, decided to raise money by selling $200,000 of lemonade to free them. A movie depicting her role in freeing children from slavery premiered February 1st, 2014 on www.standwithmemovie.com On National Freedom Day, the day set aside by Abraham Lincoln when he signed a resolution in 1865 which later became the 13th Amendment outlawing slavery in the United States. Slavery in the Mosaic Law Covenant the system of slavery allowed by Moses was fundamentally different from the cruel system of the ancient world. And this century, under the law covenant, before becoming a slave, if one became in debt or indebted, he would have to first mortgage away his land property. Then, if he become becoming still more indebted, he would have to become an endangered servant for six years, Exodus 21 and 2, unless the cycle of the fifth year, year of Jubilee set him free earlier. Amen. Leviticus 25 and 10 states, You shall thus consecrate the 50th year and proclaim a release through the land to all its inhabitants. It shall be a jubilee for you, and each of you shall return to his property 
and each of you shall return to his family. And that comes from the NASU um, Bible. Now, the year of Jubilee, it's a 50 year period where all slave owners must allow their slaves freedom from slavery. Any person who obtained property from someone who could not pay for their property was supposed to return the property to the original property owner. Now we know in this country, it, this country was supposed to be based on scripture. That's why when we went to court, we saw in God we trust. We look on the dollar bill, you see in God we trust. God was supposed to be the headship of the United States. And yet, the slave owners did not take Leviticus 25 and 10 to mean what it is saying here. Because if they truly worked slave owners, came from biblical standard, they would have freed the slaves within 50 years of them being in slavery. Amen? In any case, the Mosianic law actually protected the safety of slaves during their servitude. Any cruelty on the part of a master that resulted in injury to the slave's body secured the slave's complete freedom. Exodus 21-26 Egyptian Slavery and Freedom Of course, in the history of the children of Israel, it is well remembered that God permitted the Israelites to fall under Egyptian slavery. According to the scriptures, when there was famine in Canaan, the Hebrew migrated to Egypt and prospered there for a long time, with plenty of food under the benefit of their kin, Joseph. They settled in the area of Gushen instead of returning home to Canaan. When another pharaoh arose, which knew not Joseph, matters worsened. Exodus 1 and 8 and Acts 7 18. Finally, God heard their groaning and God remembered their covenant with Abraham, or remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac, and with Jacob. Exodus 2.24 Saving of the Firstborn Slave Remarkably, God sent a series of plagues to soften the Pharaoh's grip on the Israelite slave. Instead, Pharaoh's heart hardened in Exodus 7.13, until the 10th plague, a climatic disaster focused on all the firstborn of men and beasts, Exodus 11.5. However, God instructed Moses to have all Israelites take a lamb for every household, kill it on the 14th of Nisi, roast it with fire, and put its blood on the two doorposts and the lintels of the houses as a sign to be passed over by the angel of death. Exodus 12, 7, and 8. Having faith in the instruction, eat it in haste, for it is the, lamp, it is the Lord's Passover. Verse 11 and 13. Those firstborn Hebrews under the blood of a lamb were saved. And that is how the Passover got started. And as you see, it is called the Lord's Passover. What was the significance of this remarkable event of history? First of all, beginning with the Passover, the law of Moses became a shadow of of the good things to come, Hebrews 10 and 1. The Christian church is actually called 
the church of the firstborn, who are enrolled in heaven, Hebrew 12.23. And of course, James said that we should be a kind of first fruit among his creatures, James 1.18. And just for your own knowledge, the name James in the patriotic day meant Jacob. The Lamb of God slain for the world. Certainly, also, Christians who follow in Jesus' footsteps now are spoken of by Peter as being not redeemed with perishable things like silver or gold, but the precious blood of a lamb, unblemished and spotless, the blood of Christ, 1 Peter 1, 18-20. At his baptism, John announced Jesus, Behold, the Lamb of God which taketh away the sins of the world, John 1, 29. Also, in the concluding book of the Bible, Revelation, Jesus is called the Lamb 26 times. Praise God. Yes, Jesus died as the Lamb to take away the sins of the world, Revelation 13, 8, and release mankind from slavery to sin and death. But how many Christians relative to total world population in history have actually been saved? According to the Pru Research Center, the number of Christians have increased over the last century. Praise God. Through Christianity, or though Christianity still remains only one third of world population, what about the billion who are not Christian, nor yet a part of Abraham's seed, who will bless all? Galatians 3, 27-29 What about the hundreds of millions who lived before Jesus ever came to die for our sin? How then could it be said Jesus was to be a ransom for all? 2 Timothy 2 and 6 Laying down his life for all the world Deliverance of all Israel from slavery. In fact, Apostle Paul drew a wonderful connection for the whole people of Israel afterwards passing through the Red Sea to be delivered from the bondage of Egypt. Israel walked on dry land through the midst of the sea and the waters were like a wall to them on their right hand and on their left. Exodus 14:29. In 1 Corinthians 10, 1 through 2, Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea and were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sleep and in the sea. This national deliverance under Moses actually pointed forward to the deliverance of the whole world in Jesus' kingdom on earth, for which we are always praying. Matthew 6.10 All mankind will have their first real opportunity, with Satan bound during the thousand years. Man will be freed from bondage of deception, sin, and death. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And that's in Revelation 21 through 3. People will be free to learn, accept, and love Jesus. The greater than Moses in Revelation 21 through 3 and Hebrews 3, 5 to 6. They will become, so to speak, logically, the afterfruits of of God's plan. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Freeing all slaves in Christ's kingdom. 
True, those who have been deeply absorbed in sin, adversely affecting their character, will have a harder time. Every careless word that people speak, they shall give an accounting for it in the thousand years. Day of Judgment, Matthew 12, 36-37. But the judgment day of a thousand years is not so much a time of sentencing, but a time for the vast majority of mankind to be given opportunity to come to repentance. Second Peter 3, 7-9. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So in this Christian age, the truly committed believers are on a narrow way, Matthew 7, 14, and have to deal with their adversity, Satan, or adversary, Satan. Amen. However, in Christ's kingdom, with Satan bound, the world will have a wide highway, a way of holiness. Isaiah 35 and 8 to walk on there some of the more noble of humanity who nevertheless did not know Jesus will learn the pure language of truth Zephaniah 3 and 9 and make fast progress on the fast lanes amen there will be no lion, in verse 9, as Satan to blind and to deceive the nation, Revelation 20 and 3. Yes, all humanity is enslaved to sin, but even those of fallen humanity who were literally slave holders or abusive to others will have to show true heart repentance then all humanity's slave to sin and death will have full opportunity to be free and achieve eternal salvation. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. So as we end this lesson on today, I want to come out of Romans 6.19, which says, Just as you used to offer the parts of your body in slavery to impurity, and to every increasing wickedness. So now offer them in slavery to righteousness. Offer them until God. Amen. This is Pastor Catherine signing out. Have a blessed day.